Welcome back to the most cursed timeline. Yesterday we got a sniff of Emperor Dung. A, 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 uh, a modicum of, of the throne of the HRE before our father died about two weeks later. Because he's old and crappy. I'm so annoyed. Still, still not quite over it. Uh, we, we are a simple son, frail, uh, cramps. Oh god, maybe it's the plague. Maybe he's gonna die. Is cramps a sign of the plague? I mean, I'm not, not entirely guaranteed on that. You have a vassal for a favor. Honestly, yeah, yeah, honestly, take him over our vassal limit. Just give him away, my dude. Honestly, you're not gonna keep this round together. Let's not... Was this not the dude we also dethroned? Hang on. History? Yep. Yeah, it was. There we go. I'm glad we, we had a nice au contraire stopgap, but look. The first member of House Carling to be sat on the throne of the Holy Roman Empire in, what, 600 years? Look at that. 800 minus 1200 minus 800 is 600. We all know that. That's simple mathematics. Um, that's crazy. I'm, I'm glad. Even if it's just there for a second, he's gone down in history. So you know what? I'll take it. I must decline this honor. No, it's a dishonor. It's disgusting. My... Ah, oh, shit. I thought that was our father then for a second with the HRE. God damn it. We're never going to get... A well, I basically said we're never going to get a saint. You know what we're not going to get? We're not going to get any gameplay done with this dude because I'm going to get him to die. Um, has he just got permanent cramps? It's because he's because he's thick. He's got stupid boy cramps. Uh, can you die? How are we going to kill him? So, we're taking the business focus, which obviously good because that can become stressed or depressed. Um, antagonize our spy master. We've already got that going, so that's pretty great. We could just have him force abdicate, but then we would just be Pano Carl. Um, let me think. So we could build temple level holdings and then grant those to our brother, which would disqualify them from succession because they'd be a theocracy. That works. And in fact, I think there's only one brother between us and the good one, isn't there? So there's us and then there's our older brother, Toot Carling, died. Then there's Pano Carl that we've got to get rid of. And then Au Contraire is the obviously the, the best boy, number one. Uh, Prodigy with the uh, horoscope to obviously become an incredibly good warrior. So if we can also get him educated, that wouldn't hurt either. Looking for someone who's patient. Oh, you know what this dude might do. Patient, just, charitable, chaste, strategist, appealing, brawny, capable. 32 in the relevant skill. Loop, please educate my younger brother in how to be the world's greatest warrior. Because once again, we're going to have to go to war with the HRE, aren't we? Okay, um... Honestly, I think let's just leave it. If you came the trait, oh sure, fuck it. Let's torture people. Why not? Let's get over your stupidness by torturing people to make yourself feel better. Um, righteous imprisonment. Not going to worry about that one. We will leave that Neanderthal to his, his own devices there. There's so much to do. This is absurd. Right, we need an advisor. Oh god, everybody hates us. Well, that's not much of a shocker, is it? New important decisions available. Uh, should we get coronated? No, I, I don't want to... The issue is, it, it's finally the balance between people hating us enough to have us assassinated... And people liking us enough to not openly rebel so that our next character isn't going to lose land. It's a fairly difficult balance to hit, but I don't know. If we're careful with it, we should be okay. Become Emperor. I don't think any of this is necessary. Become known for virtue. Sure. Go on then. Why not? you, you got to have the virtue of something. Uh, County of Nevers. I'm not sure whether we get Coronet because that would give Vassal opinion, wouldn't it? I'm also not sure the Pope would be up for it. And I'm also definitely not going to compose a book seeing as this dude is an imbecile. This is going to be hard. This is genuinely going to be very, very difficult. Um, and now we've also got another crusade coming up. Oh, let's just get coronated. Uh, any priest will do. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. We'll go for any priest. Let's just get this cheap and easy done. Get it out of the way. So that we're not going to have this constant notification. Understandable. Thank you. His majesty needs uh, all this, this dude. Uh, private ceremony. Whatever. We're not spending. We're not investing much into this dude. I really do not care. Lose a trait ambitious. Fine. Good. Be content. Because all you're going to have, my friend, is a coffin soon. See what I can do. Yep, absolutely. I'm going to blast through this guy as quickly as possible. Can I have a vassal for a favor? I am finally king. Nice. So that should hopefully get everybody on side a little bit. Monty Pre Okay, so at least he's got rid of that. And I think he gets rid of the ruler. Un it's so, so obviously there's an opinion modifier as well. So it'd be like ruler is uncrowned minus 10. I think we've got rid of that too. We're fine. Let's build a temple to give to our brother. Although it's a weird way to get around it. It's probably also the easiest way. So we'll just find any old shit star in France. Here you go. Temple in Bourbon. You can have this one. How long is that going to take? Uh, 12, 18. Good. So actually not long. If during that time we could also maybe get, you know, dead. That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, we are going to have to get rid of some holdings as well. Because the tradition faction is now hostile. Dangerous factions in the realm. This is going to cause us issues. This is really going to cause us issues. Um, yeah, I mean, tradition faction fucking hates us. Domain too big minus... Oh, God. Send him some gold. Just send the dude some gold. 100. There you go. Nice. 
Okay, what about everyone else? Oh, God. We're not well liked. It's understandable, really. Uh, domain too big is definitely one of the biggest issues. So let's start giving some crap away here. Honestly, uh, Vanuli. Here, you can have this one, my friend. Grant Lander title. Vanuli. Oh, no, wait. This is um, Evro. There you are. Uh, 8 out of 6. What else have we got that we can... Have we got any just, like, castle holdings? We could give away Provence, seeing as that shouldn't be ours anyway. Who is the Duke of Provence? Him. And I assume you want Provence, which is why you don't like us as well. Yes, sure. Grant Lantern title. Here you go. You can have that one. Kill two birds with one stone. We're going to make him happy because, A, we're giving him Provence. B, we're going to make him happy because we're lowering our domain size. And C, we're going to give him happy because we are granting him a title. So there we go. That's that problem solved as well. Um, I don't really want this random crap place in the middle of nowhere. So this is the Duchy of Bourgeon. So we actually do have a vassal there. What was that one called? Um... Or Orzwa. I don't know how you say that, but there you go. You can enjoy that one too. Right, six out of six. We're good. We're way over our vassal limit as well. So that also needs tidying up. This is this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Right, where are you? You definitely shouldn't be our vassal. So what have we got then? Uh, Lemosin we don't have. So let's go ahead and create that title. There we go. Grant, uh, what about you? Are you under anyone else? You're not, but you are also married to a... Yeah, no, no. We don't want their... Uh, we don't want any double duke. So I'm going to give this to this dude. Uh, Limazon, there we go, that should take us down to 32, still not fantastic, but when we've made all of these duchies, we've kind of got the money for it as well, so I'm not too concerned here. Should be making the biggest duchies first, really. Um, oh shit, he's already a duke. Fine, grant him that then. Uh, grant an entire whatever. I said I didn't want any double dukes, but honestly, uh, what was this one? Was this the county of, wait, what? Is he already his vassal? Oh, he's under someone else. Shit, okay, um, pff, that sucks. Um, Joe Verdon. So, actually, if we give him that, it's just going to give us another vassal. Sure, there you go. You have, you have this one, then. Whatever. Just because I don't want to, everybody's heads for having too many duchies as well. It's got Bourbon. Uh, that one's three vassals. Oh, this one's pretty good. That one's four vassals we could deal with at once there. So, let's do that. Um, what is this one called? The Pyrenees. Sure. Grant Landed title. You can have this one, my friends. Boom. 30 out of 25. That's still not good. Let's, let's deal with this one too. That's okay. Uh, so here we go. Grant our title Nevers. But he's also got two promises in that already. So that's not really going to help much either. Shit, that didn't help at all. Nice. There we go. So that's tidied that up. Turned out we had a control of basically all of uh, Savoy there. And the, the Duke of Savoy had nothing. So he now loves us because we've given him a bunch of vassalages. But it's also tidied up the map pretty nicely too. I think our digital vassal mode, if we were to break this down once more, would be horrific. It absolutely is. What is that going on there as well? Have we lost control of Gascon? Why? That should be ours. Um, we've got a lot of vassalages we're actually missing here. Okay. Um, not that we can hold them, which is why he obviously won't transfer them. If we were to get rid of them, chances are he would grant them to us because, you know, they should be ours. Uh, you don't want to annoy your strongest vassal. Chancellor, sure. Welcome aboard. Raul, if you could perform... S I want to die, though. <laughs> um, oh, Spymaster also likes us a lot because I assume we just gave him a vassalage. Uh... No, he actually just likes this because we've got a lot of the, the religious artifacts. Shit. Okay. Um, so, the way we can do this, so it's very easy. Wait for that temple to be built. There we go. Look at that. That solved that problem. Wait for the temple to be built. Give our heir the temple, thus disqualifying from succession. Then we go into a massive open rebellion in order to depose us. Then this kid is going to play no matter what. He has to take over at that stage. Playing as him as a child as well would give us some control over his education, which would be quite nice. He wants to marry... His son, uh, which one is it? Oh, it's his actual son to my sister. Done. Absolutely. That's a good ally to have. Um, Cyprio. Where is that? Oh, Cyprus. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe that's not the best ally to have, but okay. It could be worse, I guess. A, a kingdom level vassal is, is not too terrible. Burn him. Right. Is that temple built? We, we good? Oh, no, wait. When was it done? Where did I build it? Built burn him Bourbon, didn't I? Um, can I see it? There it is. I knew it was close. Right, 17th of May. Good, good, good. Okay, only one more month. Then in theory, we should be able to mock his character. Excellent. We should be able to do this succession as intended. Right, so we've got a temple. Grant land a title. The... Why can't we grant him a temple, though? Oh, God, have they managed to stop that? Oh, hang on. I think you can only do it to people who aren't your end. No, they've actually they've actually stopped that from happening. Oh, well, that's annoying. Um... Yeah, no, that is genuinely very annoying. Cause so we've just wasted gold on a temple that shit. Okay. Um oh, man, that sucks. Uh okay, fine. They they've 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 managed to get rid of that issue. Alright, create new vassal then. Sod it. What a waste of time. Uh we could just kill brother. Oh god, I'm really pissed off my spy master though now. Minus twenty one. Could just try and kill the brother. This kills the brother. Plot to kill. Eighty five percent. Okay, you know what? I think this is doable. 
Um, invite all. Let's go send gifts to basically everyone as well. They're not interested. Oh, shit, we're out of gold. So we've got a temple. We've got a temple, so we're now out of gold. Fantastic. You know what? Let's not piss off the spy master yet because we can get... All we've got to do is get rid of, like, we can get rid of ourselves fairly easy. Like I said, going into open revolt, getting people to overthrow us. This guy, I'm changing my mind. We're going to swear you instead, my dude. Let's get you built spy network in Paris. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. What are we up to? 84.4%. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to cross that 100% mark. You can have a vassal for a favor, sure. 102%. Fantastic. All right. Um, and if we get a little bit more gold, in fact, we've got just enough. Get another 9% on board. I'm going to invite everybody we can to speed this up as soon as possible so that, you know, we can play as that youngest child as soon as possible and actually control his education a little bit. Right. Uh, yeah. Arrange marriage. There you go. Off you go. Right. Child lacks an education focus. This idiot. He's also dull. My God. We really are not doing well, huh? You can marry her. Sure. And then, do we want to marry him off? I suppose if his wife hates him enough, then it might be good. Um, oh, you know what? Gold. We can use the gold. That was a good plan. We can use the gold. Crusade for Philistine. Oh, God. Okay, that's a pretty significant one then, huh? That's actually pretty significant. Um, there's a lot of Christianity going on in the Middle East. Like, it's a very strange Greek diaspora right now kicking around. Like, Sicily has control of Galilee. We've lost Jerusalem again, but that's not much of a surprise. We've got, like, a, a Greek kingdom here in Antioch. Very weird. Like, the Greeks are actually doing really, really well to say that the Seljuks have already been and gone. Deus Vault, of course. Yeah, big, big old, big old Deus Vault. Uh, do we want to, do we not pledge to that? I should have, I should have pledged to that so we got some gold out of it. But, okay, you know what, never mind. Honestly, wait, we can't even, why can't we join it? Oh, because we're a vassal of the HRA. I actually don't know. Who knows? Anyway, it's not a big deal. It's not, it's not our problem. We've got bigger fish to fry right now. What kind of carling playthrough would it be if we didn't kill our brother for the kingdom? I mean, or at least kill our brother to prevent him killing us to take the kingdom or to prevent him from inheriting the kingdom when we undoubtedly get assassinated because we're a big old thick idiot. Crappy? That's very, that's a very crappy title. Duchess von Rheinfelden, King of the Cruelers, who's a fantastic name. Also horrifying face. Why don't we join a society? We might as well get something out of this, dude. Um, the Band of Medina? Why can we see that? Wait, is Robert Rora reformed? Wait, what? We shouldn't be allowed to see that, though, because it's a pagan band. Weird. Um, we could join the Assassins. That's the only one we're allowed to join. Sure. Let's go join the Assassins, then. That seems pretty appropriate for when we're trying to, you know, tidy up our family tree somewhat. Maybe. So, when you join the Assassins, generally, as part of the initiation, you do have to kill, um, you do have to, you, you do have to kill a family member, don't you? Sometimes, mostly, you Very sad tear indeed as, as he dies horribly. Um, imprison people. No, I think we're good. We'll save that for later. We want it. We want people to rebel against us and then obviously surrender to them so that we get deposed. For now, though, oh, we're already... Who are we at war with? Uh, some dude in... North ah! <gasps> Here we go. Talking about religion, righteousness, and how to do the right thing. He expresses admiration for those willing to give their life for their beliefs. I agree, Munkeed. If only we could be more like them. Oh, dear. This is, uh, this is going in an odd direction. All right, let's do it. An assassin? Perhaps this is destiny. Mamash has discovered a... I want to make a joke so bad, but I know I can't. I know I, I know that would be very illegal. Pope Pius II. Pope Pius II. No, it's not quite pious, is it? This is the most wicked lifestyle and suitable for any priest. I mean, what's wrong with him? He looks pretty good to me. Humble, charitable, craven. He looks very good. What's wrong with him? Just wicked priest. I guess... <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Um, my eyes open, seeing only darkness. For a moment, my mind is blank. Before the first thoughts go through the haze of sleep, why did I wake up? A deep, ma a deep man's voice cuts through the silence, staring at me. The time has come for you to profess your devoutness to Allah and the rightful Imam Ali. I will shout their names from the rooftops, Allahu Akbar. Openly convert to Shia Islam. I will carry, carry out Allah's wishes in secret, no matter the, the risk. Um. Wow. Wow. Uh, I can see the comment section already. I mean, that would be a great way to die. We can openly convert later on. Then. So let's deal with our brother first. Then we'll deal with it. We have to uh, a written pledge of allegiance to the Grand Master. Of course. Let me find a quill. As soon as I lift the tip from the quill, the parchment, just the tip, snatches it from the desk. The Grand Master will be pleased. Re Nui. You'll receive an invitation to our stronghold, but for now, go back to bed. You will need the rest. The next moment, he is gone. Let's get cut in pace. Perhaps it's time I asked you. Yeah, did they say that in the first game? I'm going to assume they didn't, seeing as, you know, it was a, a Latin expression, right? Um, I will ask. Excellent. We got we got some gold out of our faction. We talk in private, try and sway our spy master, which might help somewhat. Um, I was honoured by your visit. Oh, we can... So it's a minus 20, but there's a possibility for him adopting our personality trait. And remember never to sleep too much at home. Have the trait 
Do you want the paranoid threat and he likes that? I guess he's a spy master, huh? Jihad from Messiah, we don't care about that one too much. Um, or I suppose we technically do, seeing as we are secretly uh, Shia. Fine. So what does that give us the access to now? Just, you know, the assassins, huh? Right, let's wait. As Ashalam -ash Alakum, Rainui, you are hereby invited to the assassin stronghold in Quishin. Qish sure. Arrive there in a fortnight's time, one of our people will collect you there. Until then, keep safe and breathe not a word to this to any living soul. I shall be there. Let's do it. We're going on a journey. The journey was comfortable. However, the dwindling mountain path to the assassin stronghold was a torment to tread. As I finally arrive at the castle, the guide brings me to the main tower, where I'm introduced to propagandist Solomon. I'm ready to serve, propagandist. There is no time for pleasantries. Not even a moment to catch my breath before he leads me through another door down a spiraling staircase. We descend in the silence. The stair leads, and he op opens another door, revealing a gloomy basement and a figure kneeling on the floor. Who is that? Who could it be? No! It's my... Who? <laughs> it's Bernard. No, not Bernard. Say it isn't so. This, propagandist Solomon says, is your test. With these words, he pulls the hood from your eyes. It is Bernard, my courtier, a man I've never seen before. The shock in his eyes must be merry my own. The man is an enemy of our faith. End him, if it is the Grand Master's wish. Sorry, Bernard. The blood is still gushing from the infidel's limp body as I kneel in front of the propagandist, who recites the oath of the assassins and I repeat it after him. As propagandist Solomon speaks the final words, indicting me into the order, he smears the blood across my cheeks. Who'd have thought that the idiot son of some very, very Catholic, uh, you know, traditionally Catholic, carling, holy Roman men would be uh, shouting, my life for Allah, praise be the assassins, within about five years. Well, within about a year, let's be honest. I've taken the throne. Pope's in prison. Good, good job, Pope. Good work. Incredible. Now what can we do? I've actually very, very, very rarely play in the Assassin's Order, so I don't really know much. Attempt to abduct. That sounds incredible. Borrow money, donate money, use hashish from the Assassin's. Companion. That gives us a lot of good stuff. Huh? Oh man, these are good. Murder plot power plus 50%. I should try joining the Assassin's while well. They seem very good. Anyway, more to the point, we want to attempt to abduct our brother, I assume. Um, how, do, how do we do that, though, my dude? How do we do that? Right-clicking on the portrait's character is lower tier than us. Uh, or a relative of someone lower tier than, oh, than a duke, sorry. To attempt to imprison them with your help of the brethren in exchange for divine power. Uh, why can't we use that on our air? Maybe your air is immune to that. As a gameplay feature? It's actually not there at all, is it? We could just have plot to kidnap him, but the assassin plot is already going through. 136, we've just got to be patient, I think. I'm trying to focus on my training, but he's always there. No matter if I'm studying in the Great Order Library, hid behind piles of books, or sparing, sparing, sparring with fellow assassin. Maya Shibab apparently has to do the same, and his taunts and snide comments are driving me mad. It's time to determine who the superior assassin is. Who do you think? Is it going to be one dumb boy with minus 38 personal combat, or this dude with plus 40? He's also a Mujadid as well. It's time to really determine who the superior assassin is. Uh, is he just going to kill us? While our members of devout believers, many lack the practical skills, bodily stamina, and rigorous education needed by an expert assassin. Sure, train a protege. Seems a bit pointless. I don't, I don't think this is really our type of thing, huh? Um, Duke of Remini the Impaler is usurped the... What? Was that not from England? I think that was from England. One of my vassals t stealing a lamb from England, huh? I don't think so in hindsight, but that definitely looked like England there. Okay, sure. Mayor Shibab was slow to accept my challenge. It was a simple one. We both craft disguise and enter the nearby town at noon the next day. The first person to spot the other, sneak up on them and place a dagger at their throat, would be the winner. We're going to die. We're going to get... Oh, we're just very good friends. And then the coolness of a blade against my throat. Impressive disguise, Adoran. I mean it. Oh, thank you. Gave me a hearty pat on the back. Oh, we became close friends with him. That's kind of nice. Right. A youngster has been caught red-handed trying to pickpocket me today. The guards are furious with the child, but mo noting the quiet defiance in his eyes, I remind him of myself. Uh... Do you want to train this kid to be our protege? Renard, I have special interest in this lost soul. Sure, let's go for it. I've not done any of these events before. I've, not, I've only very, very, very briefly played the assassin. So this is at least something interesting, huh? We're doing something better with this dude rather than just dying. Great, more taxes for me. Just what we needed. More, even more taxes. Oh, God, we're making a ridiculous amount of gold right now, huh? Organizing expedition. Apparently so. Apparently we're going to make an even more ridiculous amount of gold. And you know what? I'm going to buy a merchant ship for the journey. I don't normally do it, but this guy is so thick, I want the best chance we can get here. Sparring trader, plus one. Thick with one C, by the way. Not Obviously not two. He's not that blessed. Um, this guy, cultural adaption for infiltration missions. Scheming skills, martial skills, or well-balanced training. Sure, let's go for uh, balanced training in all areas. Is this a good plan to be training up assassins for... When we're not going to play as this dude, hopefully, for much longer. How's our air coming out? Uh, Rowdy Waffle. Conscientious is good. Novice Fighter, also very good. I've, I've got high faith for this kid. 
There we go. Martial education, of course. Wow. I think he's going to come out very, very well. A dozen strong horses for my good friend Amir al Mununin Sufair, the tormentor. Of course. A dozen strong horses for you, my friend. Please excuse me. I'm trying to teach manners. Let's see if we can at least succeed. Just because the trade route will carry over to next characters. Wait, does it? I think it does, but as long as we play, pay the upkeep, right? Anyway, I should make preparations at once for the Hospital of Paris. Oh, God. 423 gold. I suppose we're about to make up a bunch more gold. We can also gain Zealous, Gregarious. General opinion, plus five. Uh, I'm going to go for that one just to try and get more people into our murder plot. And we get a friend and a profitable agreement. This guy, I would say fairly influenced by the East. Uh, you know, just a weird thought there. More money's always needed. 500 more gold. Wow, that's a lot. Stressed. That's a great start. Stressed. Now all we need is depressed and then dead. Come greedy. Good, good, good. This plot is taking too long. It's taking too long. No one else wants to join it. All right, fine. Oh, okay. Good work. Reynard attempted to fall them by claiming my orders had changed that an ambush was called off. While I am impressed that he saw through the test, he did not sell it completely and ended up running away in a panic. He's maimed, he's severely injured, and uh, he's terrible. You'll be informed of your apprentice, Reynard. He's good, but he has a lot to learn. Wait, why do we want that? He's been maimed. Yeah, no, I'm not interested. Cabio claims that he would be a better steward than th uh, this guy. Uh, he might be. 24? Absolutely he will be. He's also got architect as well. Very cool. Cruel? Might be a good way to get people to kill us. Why not? We'll take cruel. A famous band named Honard. A famous band? A famous bard. Uh, this must be from our bloodline. Right, okay. Cool, of course. You're welcome here. That's cool. And we became known for our virtue. <laughs> yeah, nothing says becoming known for virtue rather than uh, secretly practicing a different religion, being an assassin. All right, develop personal combat seems good. Yeah, if you could die now. Praise Allah. Okay. That's, uh, that's the sound clip I just put on the internet. All right. Um, compose a book. Let's do it. No, no, no. Don't, no, 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 no. What have I done? He's an idiot. I'm an idiot. We're all idiots. Great. We can now write the world's worst book. Should we go to China and insult the emperor as well? Assassinate the emperor? Send a eunuch? My brother? <gasps> no, we can only send au contraire. You can't send your heir. I'm not obviously not sending my au contraire. That's terrible. Um, yeah, I don't really want to do much with the emperor. I think we'll, we will just wait until, you know, we actually want to get the character we want. Can you just, just disappear? Just throw him in prison and execute him? I'll do it. Fuck it. Problem solved. All right. And then what we do is we say, hey, uh, who's the most powerful vassal, vassal in the realm? Uh, we say, you, hey, goodbye. You're going into prison. He'll say no. He's raised his flag and rebellion. And then we surrender. Watch this. Ready? Boom. We've done it. Ho, ho, ho. What a play. There he is. Ray au contraire, the second. Ray the second. Oh, wait, what? Ray au second contraire? Why has he done that? His name, its first name is Au Contraire, yet it's put... That's very peculiar. Oh, I guess the game assumes that if you put a space between the words, that that becomes their middle name. So it's Au the Second. We're, okay, very odd. Anyway, hey, look at that. Problem solved. The only issue is we now have a, an older brother who's our heir and an assassin. But I have a feeling... Oh, he's not in our court. Well, that's fine. He's, on, he's taking refuge in Jersey. That's cool. Hey... That worked out incredibly well, I think. What a great life that dude had. All right, so, uncouth. Well, I'm sure we can deal with that, right? Let's get this kid trained as much as possible. Novice fighter, fantastic. Conscientious, willful, obviously very good. We've inherited all our artifacts. Did we lose any? Did we lose any? That's the real question. Um, Bones of St. Peter. That we've still got them. Crown of Thorns, similar realms of Jesus. Nail the true cross. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. Nothing to worry about there. And, of course, our Magnum Opus as well. We need 25 learning. He's got 16 learning at the age of 12. He's got 18 learning at the age of 12. Why? Why did you just gain... Oh, shit. We just inherited a whole treasury worth of stuff. Oh, my God. We got a water clock. That's why. And we got a weeping statue. We just inherited a load of shit. Do you see that? Well, that's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. But this kid's going to end up incredibly good. The only problem is now, uh, we've got a million T billion titles, which I don't want. Um, Where's this one? Nayan Nayaned? Nantes? Right, it is. Um... I, I mean, we don't want any of this crap. Oh, we got the Duchy of Brittany, right. Uh, that explains a lot. Sure, here you go. Grand Landed title. Council say no, because there is no council to say yes. Sure. Advisor. Oh, God, they hate me. Why? Domain too big. Opinion of predecessor. That's going to be something we have to worry about. But as long as we can get past the first few years of this kid's life, he's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Right, let's get rid of this, then have everybody like us a lot more. Um, they still say no, because we're missing a empty seat. Advisor slot, maybe? No, we're not missing a seat, you liar. Let it, um, uh, let it tick for a bit. Right, let's try now. 
Grant added title? Nope. They're still saying no. This dude's also malcontent. Send him a send him a gift. Send him a gift. There we go. Um How about how about now? Are you good? Why do you hate us anyway? Um Envious domain too big opinion. Predecessor is actually killing us here. That would be the guy that my brother, older brother, assassin brother, most likely antagonized. We're gonna have to send some gifts to these guys, try and get them on board a little bit to, to give away this land. People hate us. Again, classic CK2. People hate us because we've got too much land, and we can't give away the land because people hate us too much to allow us to give it away. Right. F oh, fuck you guys, honestly. This annoys the shit out of me. Okay, uh, you're sacked then. Let's replace this guy with a loyalist. There we go. We've actually got one. Thank you. Right. Grant landed title. That should be enough. There we go. Right. And now everybody's on board. Because these boys were being swayed by the other of, of the other council members. The kingdom. No, we don't want to give them the kingdom. Good lord. Right. There we go. Eight out of five. Okay. That's significantly better. Now we can hire a new chancellor because that bishop was part of the old ones. So we'll bring this dude back in. You still don't like me? Minus three. Though. That's a lot, lot better, huh? Domain too big. But when he is of age or when he grows up, you know, obviously that is, uh, that's not going to be the case, I would say. Thank God. King Folk of England. He was excommunicated. Kinslayer. You've done us a great service, King Folk. The Purifier. Fantastic guy. I, I would actually... We're going to ask the Pope if he can take away his excommunication at some stage. Because that is uh, that is a 10 out of 10 right there. So one of you pointed out, and this is a great point, by the way. Why are we allowed to sway the Pope when he's our religious head? Well, I think it's because actually our religious head is this dude. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's not does not view Pope Galatius II as religious head. So the Pope in Rome, there's no point swearing him when we've got an anti-Pope. As part of the HRE. That's the reason why. So I sort of realized that and, and you know, commented on that. I replied to that when I saw it. But, yeah, I, I completely forgot that we've got an antipope to actually more concern ourselves with. It's probably the right word for it. Although we should keep the other pope, the actual real OG pope on side. This dude is also something we need to concern ourselves with. It's a little, bit, a little annoying, I know. But, you know, part of the course. Right, let's go for military organization. Really? Yeah, retinue size. I want retinue size. And we've also got cultural advances to go for. Um... I mean, legalism, short reign year seems quite nice. Tolerance, also not bad. Majesty, also not bad. Noble customs, feudal opinion, that's going to give us plus two. That's pointless. I'd rather go for the short reign years. I mean, obviously, along with all the other stuff we can get. Absolute crown authority, technology spread rate. Majesty's not bad. Noble customs gives us buildings. Oh, shit. No, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What do we actually want? We need siege equipment and improved keeps. And I just wasted it on <laughs> fucking military organization. You dumb fool. Um... Oh my god, we've got so long to wait now. What an idiot. Fine. Uh, what is it we need then? So we need siege... Oh, so it's just siege equipment and improved keeps. So we actually don't need to concern ourselves with um, cultural advances at all then. I'm going to go Noble Custom just because of the buildings it gives us access to. That's good news. As you are no doubt well no, I and your vassals who are part of my faction are your loyal subjects. I appreciate that. Okay, so what do they think of us right now? Prosperity, prosperity faction aren't a big fan of us. Best way to get your prosperity faction on side, send him a bit of gold. Uh, Duke Onfroy the second for France. Uh, it's Duke Onfroy backing his own plot. Why do you hate me? Um, opinion of predecessor. Domain too big minus 30. Well, shut up. How about that? Uh, send him a gift. How about now? Do you, st you still want France? Um, I don't know. What could we do to this dude? Not a huge amount, unfortunately. Let's not worry about it. Again, all we've got to do is just become 16 so that we don't have to worry so much about this old domain size issue. We should be, by the time we get to that age, have enough stewardship to not worry about it. Plus, we can get married as well. So, Burnley Apostate. Speaking of which, let's set ourselves up a wife. Um, Prodigy? Oh, there are some. There are some. That's fantastic news. Um, Ten-year-old girl. She is short. But short's fine, I guess. Powerful voice, homely. Um... Now, Prodigy plus Prodigy is still only like a 15% chance to inherit, even with two parents with it. But it's such an uh, it's such an incredibly good trait. Yeah, let's take it. She's a relative of a duke, so it's not it's not that particularly low-born marriage. But it, it's still, you know, I, I, I do think it's worth it because of the Prodigy. Now, that mystic that was trying to teach our father eternal life, and obviously he died before it could happen. In fact, what happened to that event chain? We went to War for Ages, which puts it on pause, and then obviously he died. So I want to find out if she was a fraud. So I'm going to char info here. Just to see if my suspicions were correct. Um, oh, we can't see because she's dead. Well, that's annoying. Uh, Duke of Raymond of Anjou killed her. Okay, fine. Let's not worry about it then. Sure. Uh, a little bit annoying there. I did want to double check. But again, I think because she had such incredibly low stats. And she, you know, was just crappy overall. I, I have a feeling she was a fraud. So, not much loss there. Press it with vague promises. I, I, I'm probably going to double check the save game as well. Just, just for posterity's sake. Right. Let's keep the diplomacy going. 
I love that we've also already got 17 diplomacy at the age of 13. This character is so insane. Especially as we've been educating him in martial as well. Oh shit. Our educator's gone. Oh my god, I'm so glad I noticed. Um, yeah, it was this dude. Loop, loop, please, for the love of God. I don't know why it does that. Why would it get rid of your educator just because you took the throne? That's so dumb. I suppose it's because you could pick a better educator, I guess. But, man, I'm not happy about that. Right, okay, ambition. We apparently have a child on ambition of pledging peace to our vassals. We might as well go for it. Um, peace for 15 years. I think we can do that. I mean, we'd only be 28, so that's definitely doable. We can leave this one here for today, but I think we've got ourselves a fantastic character to play as for the next few episodes. Hopefully this dude will, will be able to take the HRE a lot, lot earlier. Obviously, if we do what we did before, start a faction in our favor, take the HRE, and then, fingers crossed, we can flip to primogeniture before we have another issue like we had last time. But I think this dude is going to go far. Even though he should be being educated in military, somehow ended up an incredible diplomat and an incredible learning-based character too, which is really odd. Um, I suppose the Hermetic Society is basically perfect for, right? Anyway, we won't worry about that. I think we've done a good job getting rid of the other dude, and I think we had a fun little story there. Our brother, who became uh, radicalized, went to the East, trained to be an assassin, and was burnt at the state by the King of England. A short story, but a fun one nonetheless. Speaking of which... You know who else is a short... Backers, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Mora, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Powers Presley, Asuni Kirito, Conspiracy, Jimbo, Oxwell, Fukunda Vasquez, Tom Terrier 18, Average Gamer 419, and Escape, Zazzy 711, Daniel Faust, and Eric B. Thank you all for your support the insane tier levels on Patreon. It is most appreciated. Thank you for keeping the channel uncensored and alive, more importantly. And a big shout out as well to. Andrew Wilson, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, Icy the Great, Jack Allen, Wolfie, James Barnes, Betamus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Der's, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, The Sage, Yoranda Vries, Haji Demar, Alpha Scuff, Don 22 and 7, Zet with Dougal, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Sadeth, Asero, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, John Holiday, Zico, and Jay Lehrer. Thank you all for your support as well.